Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, ask them and see what they came up with. All right, so for the 15 things, our group came up with water, rope, tarps, jacket, a fishing hooker line to help fish, or if you had, if you had to like uh, tie something up, um, or if you had to cut or something like that, a machete, and you could use the backside of it as a hammer, a flare in case there was a passing boat, uh, flashlight and batteries, non-perishable rations among what was left on the boat, blankets, first aid kit, uh, luggage or different clothes that we had, a pot to boil salt water for to cook in, um, suntan lotion, and then insect repellent. I think if you're under wrap, you probably would need the pot to cook in. Yeah, but when we get to the island, we might need the pot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Sounds like their, their main objective here is just to get rescued them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Does <laughs> say that there aren't any mosquitoes in the South Pacific? So. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. We have number one, a radio. Number two, water. Which that would be like a short wave radio, so we can you know, sure. communicate. Uh, okay. Number two, okay. water. Number three, a knife. Um, four, food. Five, flare gun. Uh, first aid, um, fishing gear. Uh, we're assuming that we were going to be on the island. That's okay. Right. Okay. So we have like um, rope, uh, a hatchet, uh, bug spray, sunscreen, canned food, can opener, a whistle. <laughs> a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think the whistle. Whistle, okay. Okay. That's interesting. A whistle, okay. Okay, anything else? Okay, what does the Coast Guard say when you're in a raft? What do you need? Fifteen items. You need five gallons of water. Some they have twenty five military MREs, which are those meals. meals. Okay. <coughs> they have plastic or a tarp. Okay. Chocolate bars. Fishing kits. Got it. Nylon rope. Got it. A floating seat cushion in case somebody falls overboard. Shark repellent. Mm. A bottle of whiskey because it has alcohol in it. I saw that. Is it so whiskey? Did we say whiskey too? I saw that. Alcohol? No, we yeah. said you can't get a first aid kit. Oh, okay, yeah, first aid kit. Okay. And they say radio, but not a transistor radio because you won't be able to get anything with that. They, said, they did say short. short right? yeah. Like, there's just some things that are worthless, like map won't do you any good because you're lost. You're, like, you're waiting for somebody to rescue you. Map, okay. Like, and then the mosquito netting or any kind of bug spray you don't need. Oh, oh. And a sextant won't be of any use either. First, na navigate. You know, tables or chronometer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Great. Now. We are going to move at the speed of sound. What I'd like you to do is take your collaborative strategy planning sheet, if you could, please. And this is a collaborative problem-solving process. We're going to get, kind of go through because this is the big piece as far as that we're going to cover today to give you the opportunity to do some problem-solving, especially on your issues. So if you open up to page one, first of all, there are what we call roles for each particular team. There are four roles as far as per team. What I'd like for you to do on page two, I'd like for you to look at the four roles on page two and three that each team should have. And then my question to you is, does your team have these four roles? And if not, how are we gonna make these roles happen? Okay, so page two, page three, four roles. Go ahead and Discover what the four roles are, and does your team have these roles as we speak? The roles are for you do it all. Some of them are all. He's a timekeeper. Joe's like, it needs to be some. Our favorite shit is the timekeeper. Oh, focus, sir. Joe puts us on track a lot as well. The only thing we can do is that starts to go off for track. Jones will. 
I always write everything off. down in my notebook that we talk about. Exactly. What if one person does all of Well, we should actually divide it up because again, no, we have no, more no, than I'm one saying. person each team. You do that. Because see, what it does, no. it gives them some yeah. roles and responsibilities. No, no. I'm saying in our department. That's what I said. Don't let's go. But we don't review minutes from previous groups. Yeah. Focus what through. I'm saying is, is that we should divide it up and give people responsibility so they feel that they're part of the team. So that would be the recommend. That was, okay. So you're gonna rec when you come back. You're gonna recommend that each that we should have. Four separate right. people because it gives them as far as roles yeah. on the yeah. team. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's a good one for that uh, keeping them on track. That last one. Okay, we're going to start over here. Are those four roles as far as on the team as far as that Walnut Hills? Not in our department. Not in your okay. department. Okay. So, do you have a facilitator? Yes. Okay, great. Do you have a timekeeper? Same person. Same person, okay. Do you have a secretary? Same Try. person. Same person. Mm -hmm. And do you have the last one? Same person. Okay. We're the same. We're the same, same person. Same, same person. Right here. Okay. Same. Okay. Now, it's nice to divide them <laughs> up. The reason being, it gives other people opportunity to feel, because I think one of the things that was mentioned on our top 10 list is that people don't feel somebody's connected as far as to the team. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to have them feel connected as far as to the team. In addition, you've got that person who is, I want to say, quote, sometimes negative or defiant. Mm -hmm. Okay, or who's trying to sync everything that's occurring. What a wonderful role of, how about that? The focuser. The focuser. Yes. Give her the role to bring, quote, the team back or him back on track <coughs> because that's their, quote, natural as far as inclination anyway. So let's fit it as far as into a role that's going to help as far as the team succeed. Mm -hmm. With a specific idea, they're going to be the focuser. Mm -hmm. So if the team gets off as far as of the agenda, the focuser brings them back. Now, should the timekeeper be someone that's late? I mean, uh, now see, that's an interesting <laughs> idea. Maybe the timekeeper. Remember, you talked about late. What a great idea. Maybe the timekeeper being the person as far as who would be as far as somebody who is late. Okay, so it is recommended that four different roles, four different people. Now, for our purpose, sorry. Okay, for our purpose, because we're going to go through this particular process, I need for the three of you to decide what role you're going to take as far as on our small individual teams as we speak, and then for the focuser. I will be the person will be the focuser as far as on the team to bring the team back. Okay? So decide. Yeah. Okay, so four roles. So I remember things better when I write them down anyway. So I'll be the reporter. I'm really good at it. I'll do the time. I'm really good at it. time management. Okay. Well, the only thing is we have to end. So you're the facilitator. We have to end, write it. 920. Okay, good. Okay, now, so your role is? I'm the um, facilitator. facilitator. Okay, facilitator. What is the role of facilitator? I'm going to do the agendas. Okay. And I'm going to make sure the meetings run smoothly. And okay. Now you can go yes. Ahead. Okay, good. Okay, and roll. Timekeeper. Timekeeper. And what is the function of the timekeeper? Manages the amount of time. We stay on a specific topic. Um, and uh, adjust time, keeps the discussion moving at efficient pace. Pacing. Okay. Okay. So, making sure as far as pacing. Okay. I'm the recorder. The recorder. And what does the recorder do? I'm going to record what we talk about and then disseminate that to my team members. Okay. On the second and last page, you're going to see a template. Okay. Second last page, maybe third last page of that you could possibly use as far as to record minutes. Summary decisions. Yes, okay. Okay, now I'm coming over here and roll ah, for this team today. Timekeeper. Um, 
Recorder. Recorder. Facilitator. Facilitator. Okay, wonderful. Okay, now, going to have you move on, and as you look at your particular packet, one of the particular concerns is that at your schools, when are your meetings scheduled? Because somebody says we don't have enough time. That was one of the quote top ten lists. So I'm curious as far as when are your meetings scheduled as far as that school? It's about 920, Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so you have three meetings as far as a week? Mm -hmm. and Unless that's the we're pulled into a, a meeting with a usually, parent yeah, usually or with administration. Yeah. Okay, okay. Three days. Okay, okay, great. Uh, as a team, we meet Tuesdays from 2.30. Yesterday I went to 4.30, but it's usually about 3.30 or so. And then once again, like parent meetings pop up or IEP meetings or whatever weekly. So it's so then every Monday we have, or I have like a staff or department or ILT. Or okay, so there's once a week as far as your meeting as a team. As a team, once a week. Okay, good. Every third Monday. Okay, so you're doing it like every, once a month. Once then. a month. Okay, okay. And that's the park. Okay. Okay, because actually it's interesting. Here I hear here three times a week. Mm -hmm. I hear once a week. I hear. Okay. Yay. So now is that good or bad? Do um, we co collaborate independently? You know, smaller group more often. You know, but it's not standard. Anymore. Okay. Okay. But rem okay. remember, collaborate. But see, is that collaboration or is that that other thing I talked about? Because collaboration, systematic, oh, and when right. you're getting maybe two people talking together, is that collaboration or is that that other thing, that collaborate? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So just as far as thinking. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm going to have you go as far as to page four, and it says the collaborating problem-solving process. So as you know, there's four members of the team. We have who those members are going to be. Now what we're going to be looking at is the actual process for collaboration. So the first part of the particular process is step one. And with step one, guess what? We're going to define what is the problem? What is the issue? So that is going to be step one. Second step, once we decide what the issue happens to be, we need to determine as far as why. Why is it occurring? Okay. Once we know why it's occurring, the next step, which is very important, we need a goal. It's going to be opposite as far as what the concern is. What do we want to see happen? Okay. Then after we determine as far as what we want to see happen, this is the most important piece. And you turn to the very, very last page, you're going to see the steps of developing the action plan. Okay. And in the action plan, we want to know who's going to do, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, and when they're going to have it done by. Because here's what occurs. We get together in groups. We talk about things. We come up with these great ideas. And guess what? Next week we come back. We talk about the same things. And nothing never gets done. I've worked on many, many teams where we sit and we just keep spinning our wheels. Because we don't follow, especially that fourth particular step. And then the last is evaluation. You're going to evaluate. Has it worked? And there's a number of different questions you're going to ask yourself regarding has this worked okay so what we're going to do and we wanted to make it meaningful so we were hoping that the whole team or as many people as possible will be on the team so i'm going to let you either choose a problem that is a concern as far as at your school to make it as far as worthwhile your time or you can take as far as any of the things from the top 10 list as your problem okay same here since there's two of you you can decide as far as take something from the top 10 list or a particular problem at your school so we can use the time as far as wisely mm -hmm. and we're going to follow the process as the steps as far as you see laid out first of all and this is where your note taker is going to come up we're going to cover what the concern is why it's occurring we're going to look as far as what supports it what's keep it fueling 
and then we're gonna look at what our goal is gonna be. Now, when you find your goal, if you look at the action steps, okay, that's where you're actually gonna write in, quote, this is a need, this is what we wanna see happen, and these are the steps, okay? So, I want to kinda of have you kinda of go through the process, but more importantly, when we come back together in January, I want you to actually have used this process as far as at your team meeting, and you can actually share, this is our action plan for this particular concern. And then we can look at the seven evaluation questions to see as far as how well that action plan is working. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. So I'm gonna give you time as far as to start to discuss, because again, if you remember, I wanted to kind of be of a working and meaningful as far as process, even though we don't have a lot of people here today. But, but we'll try, try to make it as meaningful as possible. But then at the end, I wanna make sure that you bring something back. Got it. So you start today and then making sure as far as that, cleaning the whole team in and bring something back as an action step in January. So you can actually share and we can give you feedback as far as on that, okay? So we're gonna go begin the process now, okay? Five step process, decide what your concern happens to be. Over here, our concern. Our concern is time management about focusing on issues and not staying on topic, kind of being off task. Okay, concern. Um, sorry, I'm on the That's right. So ours is about um, prioritizing so that we can talk about um, our instruction first, prioritizing our vision for the team and our students first. Okay, now the, concern, the concern is, I want to know our what the concern. concern is being able to prioritize our team's vision for our students first in our meetings. Okay. And all of the hoop jumping stuff that we have to do. Okay, so too second. much hoop. Okay, so too much hoop jumping. Yes, we're, get, we're, getting, we're getting away from as far as our number one concern. That's the students. Yes. yes. Okay. Goal. Uh, last one hour or less. The team meeting. Last okay. An hour or less. The team meeting is going to last one uh, one hour or less. Yeah. This now, is the time. Okay. Now, give me as far as to what was the concern. Concern was they weren't focusing on issues, so people would start talking about students or okay. discipline or just being off task. And that would be like a five, 10 minute thing. And all of a sudden, you know. Okay. Now I guess my question is, is that goal too narrow in the sense as far as it really isn't encompassing as far as what the real issue happens to be? Because the, the goal, is, the goal of the thinking is, is that we want to manage our time as far as so we complete as far as the tasks as far as at hand. Okay, does that make sense? And then one of the strategies might be, we're gonna have a start and finish time, you know what I mean? Which actually, okay, does, it, does that make sense? Yeah. So the goal wants to be global enough so the concern is met. And then I think what you mentioned might be a particular strategy, okay. How about over here? Um, what will be done in our team meetings, instructional practices of the four of us. Okay, I wanna know what the goal is. The goal, in, oh. I'm telling you. Okay. In our team meetings. In our team meetings, the instructional practices okay. will be always be first on our agenda. Okay, will be discussed. Okay, yes, and first. then and then well then first is actually going to be one of the strategies. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we want to focus. Yeah. Yes. Our goal. Our goal is that we want to talk about as far as our practices. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I just want one strategy. Go ahead and give me one strategy. What we're going to do to make this goal happen. Uh, and then actually what you talked about before could actually be the strategy. Okay, that we're, okay, so we're going to assign a facilitator or a timekeeper? A focuser and a timekeeper. Okay, so we're going to assign positions as far as to everybody, especially if we're talking about time management, we really want to have what? A timekeeper and a, a refocuser. Okay, good. Now, give me second part. Who's going to be responsible? We're going to ask for volunteers, but if not, we'll suggest the roles. Okay, but who? Oh, I will. The okay, the facilitator is going to ask for volunteers. If not, the facilitator is going to assign the roles. Okay, how? And basically, you talked about how you're going to do that. Okay, what you just talked about is that I'm going to assign a role. If not, I'm going to, I'm going to ask for volunteers first. If not, I'm going to assign a role. That's the how piece. When? Um, since next week's the last week, we're not meeting until January 6th, the Tuesday. Okay. So we'll in give us a month to start this and hopefully by February 2015. Okay, now you think, on track. now just now, remember we're not talking about the goal, I'm just talking about this one idea. How long do you think it's far as to, to 
make this idea happen. Just one meeting, but okay. So we're, so. But, but but see, does that make sense? So that would actually be my as far as my time is. I should be able to do that at the next meeting. Is we should have a facilitator and a. No, not facilitator, a focuser. Well, focuser and timekeeper. Okay, now that's just one. These other ones might take more time. Does, does that make yeah. sense? Okay, good. So you've got yours, but at least we can measure when we come back. Yeah. Okay, let me come over here. I get, okay. I get excited about this stuff, you know. Um, this is, uh, I work with big corporations, and this is something that's really, 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 really tough. So one okay. thing that will be done. Okay, so give me one. Is um, each teacher will bring a 90, 90 seconds worth to explain about what they are teaching at each so meeting. Circle. Okay. It be an arbitrary just so we have enough time. Okay, so yes. we're going to have each person going to have 90 seconds to talk about so everybody can hear talk about this what is what we're teaching. Okay, yeah. so that's a good kind of first step. Okay, yes. good. And who's going to communicate to this, everybody, this is what we're doing? Bill. Okay, the facilitator is going to do that. Okay, and basically, how how is that going to occur? It's going to be first on the agenda. Okay, so you're going to tell them. Okay, so at our agenda, first thing you're going to talk about as far as them bringing. So it's going to occur at the next meeting then. Yes. Yeah. Not okay. this well, next meeting because it's exam, exam week. The first meeting when we but come it's still back from break. About our teaching. Yeah. Okay, so how is the first meeting as far as and then the timeline is? By the end of the first week we come. Okay. Back. Now the time. There's two things for this timeline. One is that when are you going to mention this to them? We'll mention it this week tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Okay. okay. Tomorrow. And then the second part. When is it actually going to occur? By January 9th. By January 9th. Okay. Good. So Perfect. Wonderful. Okay. Great. Now. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a closing activity. I'm sick. I can't get close to anybody. Okay, oh, get close to anybody? Mm -mm. Oh. We're all contagious. Okay, no, no. I, I, okay. Okay. okay, okay. We will hold. We will hold the closing activity. It's called the. It's called the. Have you ever done the squeeze before? Oh. Okay. How does the squeeze happen? No, no, no. It's better the more people than us. We, we had large groups. We'll do it next time. Will you promise me that you three will come back next time and you'll have as many people from your group as possible come? Great. Okay. Will you promise me that we'll try? And you're invited back? You were wonderful. So hopefully you get a chance to come back. Okay. January 8th is our next meeting. Remember? Action plans as far as working on and share with the team. And if you develop any others, want to see them.